Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in Accenture exam. So the coding questions that I will be discussing in this video were asked on 26th June 2023 in slot 1. So I will be discussing one of those coding questions in this video. So make sure that you watch this till the end so that you can get to know at what, what type of and what are the level of the questions which are getting asked in Accenture. Guys, previously also I have made lot of coding question videos of Accenture exam and I have a dedicated playlist for the same. So I will give you this playlist link in the description box. Make sure that after watching this video, you visit this playlist also because lot of Accenture coding questions gets repeated. So this video that I am making will also be part of this playlist. So make sure that after watching this, you visit this playlist also because lot of questions can get repeated. So I hope now this thing is clear to you. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like and share button for your. Okay, so let's start this video now. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be reading the question, then we will discuss the approach of this question and then finally, I will be writing the code for the same. And guys, in this video, I will be discussing only one question and more such questions will be posted in next video. So make sure that you are subscribing this channel. And if you have any question that you want me to discuss, you can always contact me on Telegram. The uh, the link for contacting me on Telegram, I will, I will uh, give in the pinned comment. So make sure to visit that also if you want me to discuss any such question. So let's begin this video. So here the question is maximum element and its index. So let's just read the question first. A function accepts an array and length field. Implement the function to find the maximum element of the array and print maximum element and its index. Okay. The maximum element and it in, in its index should be printed in the next line. So here the question is very simple. But it is given that you will be given an function. You will just have to implement that function. You will not have to take any input. You will not have to take any other things as a parameters entire function will be given to you it will contain two arguments one is the array of numbers next is the length field that is the length of the array we will just have to implement that function and how we will have to implement the function we will have to find the maximum element in the array and we have to print that maximum element as well as we will have to print that index that on which index that element is present so i hope now the question is clear to you okay and one thing we have to note that the maximum element we have to print and index we have to print but they both should be in the separate lines so first we'll print the maximum element and then we'll print the index but they should be in the separate line okay and let's just see now there is one note also given so array index start with zero as we all know maximum element and its index should be separated by a new line as i have already told you next is assume that there is only one maximum element in the array so again there can be multiple maximum elements but in this it is specifically mentioned that in this question we will have only one maximum element in the array. Okay. So now let's just see the example that is input and output. So first example is we are given an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and we have given the length as 7. So sorry, I forgot to give the length. So length is also 7. So we have to print the maximum element and its index. So if we will traverse the array, we know that this maximum element is 7 in this array. And what is its index? Its index is 6 because the index starts with 0. Okay. So I hope now this first question is clear to you. The first example is clear to you. Next is, uh, next is we have an array of length 4, 23, 45, 82, 71. And now we have to print the maximum element inside this array and the index of that maximum element. So what is the maximum element? Maximum element is 82. We have printed. And on the next line, we will be printing the index of this element. That is 2 because 0, 1 and 2. So this is what our example input and output looks like. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the approach that how we'll be approaching this question and then in the later part of the video we will see how we'll be writing the actual code in the exam. So let's just now see the approach and guys now if till now you have not liked and subscribed this channel please hit that like and subscribe button because more such videos in future will be coming on this channel okay. So let's start with the approach part. So we have an array example array of 1, 4, 3, 5, 2. Now we have to find the maximum index of the element or maximum element and the index of that element. So how we will do what we will do we will simply traverse this array. We will simply traverse this array and we will take two variables. One variable will store the maximum index of the maximum element. Next will store the actual maximum element that is what is the maximum element. Now we are taking two variables. Now by which value we will initialize them. Okay. Traversal will happen uh, afterwards but uh, while we are uh, but while we are declaring two variables from which values we should initialize them. So let's just assume that our max element is the first element of the array and our max index that is the index of the maximum element since it is the first element only currently we are assuming. So therefore max index will be zero only. Okay. 
so this is how we will initialize initialize our these two variables that is max element which will store the maximum uh, element that is present in the array and maximum index that will store the index of that maximum element so initially we have initialized with the first value so max index will be 0 and max element will be 1 now what we'll do we will now traverse the rest of the array that is starting from i equivalent to 1 till the length of the array now we will traversing that array and after at each iteration we will check whether our current element whether our current element is greater than max element or not okay so if that current element is greater than the max element then we will update our max element and again we will update our max index also because max index denotes the index of the uh, index of the place where maximum element exists okay so let's just start now how we will do it so as i told you we will be initially uh, iterating over the array starting from i equivalent to 1 so now at i equivalent to 1 what is our current element it is 4 so we will check is 4 greater than our max element so answer is yes so we'll update this max element with the current element that is 4 now again once we are updating this max element then we'll update our max index also so max index will be the current index that is 1 so this is 1 now we'll move towards the next element so now next element is 3 so is 3 greater than our max element so answer is no when our current element is not greater than our max element then we'll not do anything and we'll simply move ahead okay next thing is 5 next number is 5 so is 5 greater than our max element so answer is yes so 5 is greater than our max element so we'll update this max element by with 5 and we'll again update our max index also that will be the index of current uh, number that is 3 okay now we'll move towards the next element 2 so is 2 greater than our max element so no 2 is not greater than 5 therefore we'll do nothing and we'll move ahead out of the loop so once we are moving out of the loop we have traversed entire array now the value inside this max element and max index will be printed so first of all we will print the max element that is 5 and on the next line we will print the index of that max element that is 3 so this is our output that should be printed so i hope now the approach is also clear to you so now till now we have discussed the question and the approach and even if still you have doubt let's just now move towards the coding part all the doubts will be sorted there Okay, so now let's just move towards the coding part quickly. Okay, so guys, again, I'm telling you, if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it because more such videos will be coming in future. Okay, so as I've told you earlier that the only we have to implement the function. We do not have to take anything input or anything as output. So we have, we are given a function in which we are given two arguments that is int arr and int length. Okay, so what we'll do, we will now implement this function. We'll start implementing this function. So we will write first base case that is if our length is double equivalent to 0. So if our length is double equivalent to 0 then it means that there are no maximum element present and there are no minimum element Oh, there is no index for the maximum element. So we will simply do nothing, we will simply return. Now next now now begins our main part of the logic. So again I have told you we will take two variables one is max index next one is max element. So we will initialize both of these variables with the first uh, first element of the array. So max element will be uh, initialized with arr of 0 and max index will be initialized with the first element of the array that is zero index okay so i hope now this thing is clear to you next i have told you that we will be iterating our array with i equal to 1 and i less than length i plus plus okay and after each iteration we will be checking whether our current element is greater than our max element or not so again i have told you whether we will be checking whether our current element is greater than the max element or not at every iteration so if it is greater than the max element then we'll update our max element okay with the current element and we'll again update the max index also with the current index and if now this situation is false that is if our current element is not greater than the max element then we'll do nothing because it will not go in uh, in this if condition we will do nothing we will simply move towards the next iteration that is the next element will move okay and after this loop is over in these two variables we will have our max element and the index of the max element and we'll simply printing out First, we'll print out max element and then we'll print out the max index. Okay, so I hope now the entire question and the code is clear to you. So, guys, this was it for this video. More such videos will be posted in future. So, make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video. And if you have any question that you want me to discuss, you can always contact me on Telegram. The uh, ID on which you can contact me on Telegram, I will give in the pinned comment. Okay, so I hope now this uh, entire thing is clear to you. And thank you for watching this video.